In a few applications, we've got uh, uh, rim molding where we try to guide a client toward a, uh, uh, a method of manufacture that's both cost effective, appropriate environmentally, and uh, also a good robust solution. The uniqueness of rim is uh, not only uh, is it a low volume, potentially low volume, mid-range volume, method of manufacture for molded plastic parts, it's, uh, it, it, it lends itself to incorporating other uh, materials like metal uh, rods, metal structural elements, circuit boards, electronics, things like that. So uh, this particular product, uh, Potomac Instruments, uh, uses to uh, provide uh, FCC guideline compliance for uh, radio station emissions. How strong is the signal? Is it conforming? So they established those standards. They wanted a no-nonsense solution. Here you have a combination of a rim-molded part and an antenna and uh, packaged electronics. Uh, if, you, if you take a look at some of the raw materials used for this, you'll see that uh, this is this is the raw uh, fiberglass board, uh, less the circuits. It would it would be uh, fully conductive. It would be molded literally inside of that rim molded part, which it is here, and that would provide the uh, signal measurement that is required for the uh, the compliance issue. Then, in terms of the internal parts. You'd see that the preliminary parts provide access to all the electronics, the circuit boards. It would all be shielded with a conductive material. And the purposeful parts uh, incorporate, uh, you know, little ergonomic elements. Again, this is a client that uh, wasn't looking for glamour. They were looking for purpose. Other clients who are looking for glamour naturally are still excellent candidates for the rim molding process, reaction injection molding.